Games of choice have lots of video, shooting, fighting, and speed, but no pinballs. At the height of the game's popularity, there were four big companies turning out 100,000 new machines every year. Today, there's one company left making just a fraction of that number. But there was a time, back in the 60s, when a new model came out every six weeks. This is the first one they ever made, Gottlieb Flipper. Then they followed with other flipper-type flipper, flipper -type games called Flipper Cowboy, Flipper Clown, Flipper Fair. They were very popular in the early 60s. Kevin Today, McHugh sells and collects pinball machines. The death knell, he says, sounded when companies complicated the pinball by mixing in video for the virtual reality generation. That game was made to appeal to them. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't do what they had expected it to do, which was to, to bring record numbers to it. Still, optimism runs high at the one remaining pinball factory in the world. Stern Pinball outside Chicago exports 60% of its 10,000 machines to Europe. Our strongest market, our most important market, is France. Uh, it represents about 15% of the worldwide pinball market. Is that a good sweet spot for it? It'll fit in there? Oh, yeah, it'll fit perfect. Perfect for a generation hungry for nostalgia. The kids who once spent hours and hours playing pinball are now buying the machines. The look on their face tells me that they're hooked all over again. Who says you can't go home again? Deborah Thayerick, CNN, New York. I wonder, did Deborah get a free game? <laughs> I mean, did she win? <laughs> That's all right. That's all for Worldview. Thanks so much for joining us from the CNN Center in Atlanta. I'm Andrea Hall. And I'm Brian Nelson. The Capitol Gang is up next for our viewers in North America. Stay with us.